Hello friends, this is Scott and I'm in my backyard orchard on the side of my house. Very small space, a lot of trees crowded together. And we're looking at this crazy looking apple tree that's got these bent down branches that look like hearts and it's got a top that looks very like a messy hairdo. So it's dormant time, it's February, and it's time to get this tree pruned up before it starts to uh, burst into, into bloom and into leaves. I'm going to measure the tree and I want to know the diameter of the tree. So this is circumference is 16 inches. You divide by pi 3.14 and it was 16 inches. And so it's a five, about a five inch diameter tree. So today I want to get this tree pruned up and I want it up to a manageable height. Now there's fruiting clusters all over this tree. I don't want to cut a lot of them off. So today's pruning is just to get it back into shape. I am going to lose some fruit probably, but I didn't get it pruned last year and I need to get it back under control. So I'm going to, I'm going to risk it and, and, uh, but I'm being very careful as to where I'm pruning. As you see, I'm taking my time. I'm looking the basic premise for a tree like this is for every side shoot coming off a main stem, the bent stems you see there should be about four inches. And then you allow uh, any shoot off that side shoot to be two inches approximately. But when I have fruiting clusters, I'm not going to do hold myself to those measurements. I'm going to uh, try to be as careful as I can to preserve the fruit. And then once I see the flowers on the tree and I see where the fruit's setting, then I can come through and give it a, a you know, kind of an early summer haircut just to get it back into shape so that next year it'll, it'll be a easier fruiting tree and easier to tell what's going on. Because right now I've got a pretty big mess. But as you see, the hearts are kind of cool looking. And the reason I do is it's called festooning, which is just bending the branches and tying them to the trunk. It's similar to a spalier, uh, but it, this is for a, an application that's for decoration, as well as, as you see here, I've got a peach tree on the left and a peach tree on the right, and I don't have a lot of space and a lot of sunlight. So I festooned this tree so that I could uh, keep it open, uh, utilize the space to the to best of my ability and uh, try to grow as much fruit here in a very tight, tight little space amongst the peach trees. It's hard to see here, but as I'm pruning, I'm cutting by buds, and there's buds that are pointed every direction, and so I'm, I'm going to cut them without, with the bud pointing the direction that I want the tree to continue to grow. As you see here, I get some loppers out here. It looks like a little overkill uh, for this little twigs, but all I used was loppers and hand pruners today and uh, just trying to get as much done as I can do. Now here's some look at some fruiting spurs. You know, that's where I trimmed a branch before. As you see, the little pokey things out the, out the side of the branch, those are uh, fruiting spurs. Here I'm gonna do a little time lapse just because it's gonna take way too long to show this tree being pruned. Um, here's some small fruiting spurs that are probably won't do much. They'll probably just leaf out and I don't even think they'll be blooms, but that's some new growth there as you can see. So I don't want to protect as many of those as I can um, so that we'll see what these what this do, does. And if it doesn't set fruit, then I'll cut them off and prune it back. So here I go again at the speed of sound and just trying to get this tree ship shape. Again, I'm only going to do it three quarters of the way because I want to see where the fruit's going to come. And this is a tree that's been so slow to give me fruit, I don't want to risk it <laughs> much. So I am cutting it pretty extensively, but I'm really watching the fruiting spurs to hopefully get some. Now with this narrow space uh, surrounded by two dwarf peach trees, this tree is a lot taller than the, than the peach trees. So I can leave the top kind of like a messy hairdo, but I want to top it. And then from wherever where I prune, it's going to sp sprout new growth out the sides and I can have more fruiting spurs and, and hopefully a, a nice, uh, hairdo of, of apples here in the future. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Now, festooning can be done in many different ways. Uh, you can do it basically however you want to do it. So it's just kind of neat uh, that you can make the tree work for you in, in whatever yard space you have. Now right here, you met, I missed a blooper because I was on time lapse, but I actually fell off the ladder. The ladder tipped over, but I caught myself, so I'm okay. So I keep on keep on swimming and now I'm just chopping the top off, topping it so that it is a manageable height. It's no good having fruit so high. Here's a look at the pruned tree. Like I said about 85% pruned probably from what it's going to be. But I want to see what's going to happen. As you see, I hope for a lot of fruit on the top. So I'm leaving it 
pretty pretty messy on top but it's just a it's a getting to be a thicker tree but it's narrow and uh it's it'll be cool when the fruit's on the on those stems that are bent downward and here's a look at how much i cut off the tree quite a bit uh, they're small sticks new growth there's some bigger uh, stems on here that i should have pruned you know years ago and i i didn't so i've got to do a little bit of a make up on that but again i want to see where the fruit's going to be before i go too crazy and here's a pile that i threw over by the fire pit and the chickens are already into it looking at what's going on here and uh, they're enjoying a very beautiful day it's probably 50 degrees today in in february which is which is a beautiful day and i've got somebody sneaking up on me from behind right now i think and as i look down what do i who do i see looks like mr lincoln wants to say hello so hello miss everybody thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed the video.